previously on, Rex's Redemption. I am very glad to see you all again, and that everyone is okay. You do need to stay here for a whole week before we can discharge you, so the gunshot wound around in the lower torso area can have time to heal. Do you think Killer Ren faked his death? That could be a possibility, but all I felt in this person's soul was nothing but darkness and emptiness. I feel this person is someone truly different, and has a motive, and we need to figure out what that motive could be for the sake of a closure and put an end to these threats. With this greatly enhanced DNA technology that we have, we will be able to get results for this hair sample in a matter of one week. We'll be able to see who really is Mr. Geometry, and it will help us stop him faster. Wait a minute, Mr. Hernandez. What is this? I wonder what this means. Me and Ryan found a strand of hair on the ground at Rex's house. Me and Ryan knew the hair looked familiar, so we wanted to get it tested. I wonder if the strand of hair you and Ryan found, and my visions of Mr. Hernandez have a connection. Oh my god! I must tell the Supreme Leader. I just received DNA results from the strand of hair. You might want to take a look at this. Oh. My. God. No way. It can't be. I can't believe this. Warning. This video contains mild language that may not be suitable for all audiences. If this kind of content is too inappropriate for you, leave the video now. Don't forget to subscribe for more awesome content. Thank you, and have a great day. Sitting here in this room with each and every single one of you brings warm feelings to my heart and soul. We are very glad and happy that you feel that way James. Having you in this room brings me and everyone present in this room warm feelings to our hearts and souls as well. Well that is great to hear my good friend, it brings me joy to hear that. Well, shall we start meditating, and feel the environment surrounding us everyone? Yes James, we shall. Wait, this guy's Mr. Geometry. I can't believe it. Yeah, I know, but what am I going to do with this news? If I was to go up to Rex and tell him who Mr. Geometry really is, he won't believe me. He should believe you, we're good friends with him. Yes, but Rex has known this person for a while. It would be like me saying Santa is real. What we need to do right now is to go get Rex and all the people that know him, and bring them here to this base for their own protection and safety. But Ryan, Rex's family and friends will know the secret of this resistance existing. True, but it's our obligation to protect the people we care about, and stop all abominations of this world. If Mr. Geometry can't find Rex, he'll threaten the people Rex knows about his whereabouts, and worse, probably kill them. Gear up Kyle, let's go get those people. Sir Yes Sir Supreme Leader. Okay, that's it. I'm done waiting, I'm going to do what must be done. Hey honey, I have to go back to the school to pick up something important, and then I will go to the store afterwards and buy all the things we need. Sounds great honey. We'll see you later when you get home. Hey Sophia, let's go and follow your father, and see where he's really going. Mom, I don't know, this feel weird. I really want to know why he takes so long. Let's go. Yes, let the spirits continue giving all of you the strength and guidance needed for our bodies and souls. 
Rex, how are you feeling my friend? I feel spiritually stronger and wiser James. The spirits help me do all the good things that I do on a daily basis in my life, and to help avoid all things that bring my body and soul corruption. Oh my gosh! James, I have yet again received another vision of Mr. Hernandez. What did you see? I saw him driving his car, and this event is currently taking place right now as we speak. But I do not know where he's going, or why. Where is your father going? This is not the direction of the school. He said he had to go to the school first. This is very unusual. What is he doing here in a back alley? I hope dad's not doing what I think he's doing. What is this place? I have no idea, but I don't like the look of this place. I wonder what he would be doing in a place like this. Oh my god. This can't be possible. I can't believe what I am seeing here. Now I see him in this dark interrogation room. It appears like he's alone. I need to try to see more, but my vision appears blurry. Excuse me everyone, I need to see who's at the front door. Hello Ryan and Kyle, what brings you here to my wonderful home? James, this is very important. You, Rex, and everyone in the house needs to come with me and Kyle right now. What's going on Ryan? What's wrong? Well... Listen you guys, this is an emergency. Rex is in danger. Oh my gosh! I'm in danger? Is it from Mr. Geometry Ryan? Yes, but it gets worse Rex. I wish I could tell you what it is, but we don't have much time. Have you guys found out the identity of Mr. Geometry? Yes, but if I was to tell you who it is, you won't believe me. I need all of you to come with us for your safety right now. What's going on Ryan and Kyle? Why do you need all of us to come with you? Mr. Geometry is going to look for Rex all over town, and if he sees you guys and question where he is, he won't find him, and he would potentially kill all of you. It's very important all of you come with us for your protection. It's okay everybody, the spirits will help guide us to safety through this crisis. We just have to follow what Ryan and Kyle wants us to do at this moment in time. Yes father. Yes James. Yes James. Yes James. Okay, you guys ready to go? Yes Ryan and Kyle, we are ready. Okay Kyle, now let's go and pick up Dean and all of Rex's friends. I'm so proud of Rex. He's becoming a great young man. He's about as mature as I was when I was his age. If only his mother was here to see how much her son has grown up. Yeah, she would definitely be proud dad, she would be. I'll get that. Hey Ryan and Kyle, how are you guys doing? May we come inside Dean? We have something to tell you. Of course, come in. Hey, you're Rex's friend, aren't you? What's with the silly costume? I don't know how I can say this to you guys, but you are all in danger. What do you mean we're in danger? What's going on Ryan? Listen Dean, we need to tell you the truth. The police didn't look at the hair sample, me and Kyle did. 
these outfits we wear, they look like SWAT uniforms, but we are not actually part of the police, we are part of a resistance. Part of the resistance? What resistance Ryan, what do you mean? We are part of the abomination resistance. Our goal is to stop all threats of the world, and one of them is Mr. Geometry, and he's on his way right now, and all of you need to come with me and Kyle to the base, because he'll think Rex is here and he'll go look for him in this house. Oh my god, he is? We need to hurry and go get Rex. Rex is in our bus, so he is doing okay. Woo, thank god. Come on everyone, let's go and hurry up before Mr. Geometry comes here. Rex? Thank God you are okay. I'm glad you are okay too father, and that everyone is as well. I'm very glad to have you join us Dean, and your parents as well. Take your seats guys, and let's go. What the hell? Rex is not here. Where could he have gone? G R R R R R R R R R R G R R R R R R R R R R Sooner or later, I'll find him, and he will be dead. It's a good thing we parked far away from him, so he doesn't see us. Now to keep following him. Okay everybody, right this way. We will direct you all to the safest area possible. Kyle, can you help take Rex and everyone else to the test lab, and make sure they're okay? Yes sir Ryan, I will do that. Okay everyone, stick with me, I am taking all of you to the test lab where it's safe. Kyle, what's going to happen if Mr. Geometry manages to get inside the base and approaches us at the test lab? He'll never get that close Rex. Besides, since the last time you were here, we went and upgraded our security so it'll be hard for him to walk in with ease, so I assure you that all of you will be safe. That makes me feel very relieved and happy that we are going to make it through this okay. Thank you Kyle. You guys just stay here and protect yourselves, there will be two guards watching this door. I need to go and help Ryan with getting everyone armed. Are you suggesting all of you are going to shoot and kill Mr. Geometry? Precisely James. I just want you and Ryan to know Kyle, that killing is not the way, it corrupts your soul from within. I suggest you guys apprehend him and let me and Rex get the closure Rex needs from him instead of unnecessary killing. I understand what you would want us to do James, but you do not understand. This guy is very dangerous, and he needs to be eliminated off the face of this earth, so no future generations would have to deal with an abomination such as this one. I have to go and help Ryan now, you guys stay here and stay safe. If you please, consider what I have spoken to you Kyle. There's always another way. Your actions always have an impact on you and your surroundings. Bye James. Yes Unit 109, what is it? We just finished placing turrets all over the base sir. Good. 
Now I need you and your squad to get into your positions. Sir, yes, sir, Supreme Leader. Right. How's everyone at the test lab? Are they doing okay? Yes, right. They are. Some of them are obviously nervous. But other than that, they are making sure they are protecting themselves any way possible. I also got two guards watching the lab door as well. Thank you, Kyle. Now, let's go get our weapons, and get into our positions by the entrance. Sir, yes, sir, Supreme Leader Ryan. Damn. He's not here either. Oh my gosh! I'm about as scared as that one time I lost my glasses when I was five years old. I'm scared too, Samir, but I know that all of us will make it out of this okay, and I know we will, thanks to Ryan and Kyle being around. Ah, even in the bad times, you make situations sound better with your confidence. Spirits, please watch over Ryan and the entire Resistance, give them the strength they need to protect all of us. Spirits, please make the entire resistance reconsider killing Mr. Geometry, his death is unnecessary, and he still has time to redeem himself. I do hope to God himself, that we make it out of this whole thing alive in this bunker. I pray that Rex's two friends and their resistance can stop this madman. Just keep holding your positions everyone, you'll never know if he'll show up any second. Wait a minute. I said something. Are you alright James? What do you see? I, I see. I see. Oh my gosh. It's him. Stop right there. Oh, I don't think so. Oh shit. It's him. Shit! Guys, stay back. Oh my god! That does not sound good. It sounds like Mr. Geometry got into the base. Ah, uh. uh, no. Oh no, this is not good. How is this guy killing my men and destroying my turrets so quick and easy? Everyone, we need to fall back. This guy's got the upper hand on us. That does not sound good. We need to go see what's going on over there. We cannot leave our post. We've been given a strict order by Kyle to not leave this area. We must follow the order. Come on guys, Mr. Geometry is gaining on us. Oh my god, I can't believe all of this destruction he has left behind. Come on mom, let's go and stop him before he starts doing more killing and more destruction. Where's Rex? Where's he? That is none of your business. Is he behind that door you two are blocking? We're not letting you through here, whether Rex is in here or not. I guess you'll leave me no choice. 
Uh... Such a shame. Now. Hello there, Rex. Oh my gosh, Mr. Geometry. I am done with all of this waiting. I am going to finish you once and for all. Please do not kill me. Have mercy on me. No, Rex. It's time for you to die. Alright, guys. Ready? Oh my gosh. Aang. Ryan. Stop. Kyle, what are you doing? We need to shoot down Mr. Geometry. No, Ryan. Mr. Geometry doesn't deserve to die. We don't need to kill him. Killing him will corrupt our souls. I don't need James's words of wisdom here. Mr. Geometry is an abomination that needs to be eliminated immediately. Now move. You're making a big mistake, Ryan. Okay, everyone. Ready? Aim. Fire. Ryan, I suggest you stop doing what's about to corrupt all of your souls. With all due respect, James, Mr. Geometry needs to die. He's too dangerous to be kept alive. He doesn't need to die, Ryan. He needs to be brought to justice for all of his actions. His death is unnecessary. If you kill him, you will regret your decision in the long run, and trust me, Killing someone will not you feel any better. Everyone, hold your fire. But Supreme Leader. I said, hold your fire. That's in order, and that's final. Thank you Ryan for considering my words that are for your guidance. Killing this guy would be easy, but I will do the right thing James. Thank you again Ryan. Oh my gosh, this hurts so much, please have mercy. You have brought me nothing but pain, Rex. For the past two years, my life has been nothing but a living hell, and now, you will suffer as I did. What do you mean I brought you pain? What did I ever do to you? Who are you anyway? Let me show you. I wonder where he went. Hey! You two are not supposed to be here. Is he in that room? Who is in this room? Who are you talking about? Me and my daughter need to see. What in the name? No, this can't be. Oh my gosh! I. Can't. Believe it. No. This can't be. Mr. Hernandez, I cannot believe this. You were Mr. Geometry this whole time? Yes, I was, and for many months, I've been spending that time trying to kill you, so I don't have to suffer your bad behavior that you've brought up to me anymore. All of this goes back to when you started your freshman year of school a couple years ago. I was looking forward to teaching all of my students like usual, because I love my job and the students I taught in it. One of those students just happened to be you, and I was told about your history of all your bad behaviors, but that didn't stop me from my passion in teaching. As the days and weeks of school go by, you would often freak out in class, and cause trouble almost every day, and that made my job much harder than it needs to be. I swear, going to work as the months went on became a living hell for me. I would constantly get migraines after work, and then I would turn to drinking for my depression because of you and your constant misbehaving. After a couple of months into the school year, I decided enough is enough, I'm going to go and make school for you a living hell by intentionally tampering with your homework and tests to make it look like you're failing my class, so you'll know what it's like to feel my pain. My revenge was working for a while, but I thought to myself that's not good enough, and so, I had the most brilliant idea yet, and that was to kill you so I don't have to deal with it anymore. For the first time in months, the idea that you not being around anymore brought me nothing but joy in me. I knew in the back of my mind that killing you was not going to be easy, so I decided to go and learn how to shoot a gun, and look up how to get away with murder. Eventually, I found an abandoned warehouse where I could go and store my guns. 
when the right time came to go and kill you for good arrived, I was locked and loaded, and I was ready to finish it all once and for all, but my wife would call me and ask me to come home, and I knew I couldn't get caught, so I would just flee the area. I would attempt time and time again to kill you, but I failed due to my personal life, and I decided to hire Kilo Ren to go do it for me, because clearly, it's not working for me. When Kilo Ren failed his mission to kill you, I had no choice but to go and do it myself, but again, my wife interrupts and I would have to leave to not get caught. At that point, I will not let anything get in my way, and I mean nothing, nothing will stop me from my revenge, and this even goes back to when I killed your mother, all those years ago. Wait a minute, you killed my mother? Yes, I did. I did it because she has brought me pain like you. My son was on the brink of death at the time due to an illness he had, and she was his doctor, and she said there was nothing she could do about my son's illness, so I went and hit her car. Oh my gosh, wow 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 wow, I cannot believe the things I am hearing right now, I cannot believe this. How dare you Mr. Hernandez. You took one of the people who cared and loved me very much away from me. Rex, no matter how you are feeling about Mr. Hernandez in this current moment in time, you must not let your anger get in the way of your judgment. This is not the way to handle your closure. With all due respect James, the only thing that matters to me right now is for Mr. Hernandez to get what he deserves for the monster he is. GRRRRRRRR, I cannot believe you took my mother away from me. Oh crap. Rex, please do not use your anger. It's not the way. Oh my gosh, he's using the forbidden choke. This is not good at all. Rex, please stop, I can't take more of it anymore. It is too late for that Mr. Hernandez. You're going to get exactly what you deserve. That's enough Rex, you've done enough damage to him already, this needs to end now. Washington wow 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 wow. I apologize for what you all saw me do everyone, I got carried away, I let my emotions get in the way of my judgment. All I wanted was justice for what Mr. Hernandez had done many years ago that affected my family greatly. I understand Rex. Really, I know what it's like to lose someone you know, trust me, we deal with it almost every day. Ugh, ow, it hurts so much, my throat hurts. Alright Mr. Hernandez, get moving, you are going to jail for a long time. Hey, careful where you are touching me, my whole body hurts. Get moving. Look James, I'm sorry I used my anger, and I'm sorry I didn't listen to you. I missed my mother for many years, and I just wanted a proper closure for her. I forgive you Rex, we all make mistakes that we regret in life. I want nothing more than to respect you and your ways of life James. And respect has been received my friend. All is forgiven. I cannot believe you Carl. The man I married to my whole life is nothing more than a killer and a liar. I hope you rot in jail. Look honey, I- I do not want to hear any more of this. I want you out of my life. <coughs> Mr. Hernandez. What is it Rex? What do you want? Despite all the bad things you have done in your life, I know at some point you will find redemption and turn your whole life around in a positive direction. In the ways of spirituality, there is such a thing as a second chance in life. And I forgive you Mr. Hernandez. Wait, you forgive me? I killed your mother. 
you will find redemption like I did Mr. Hernandez. You will see, it will come to you when the red time comes. Not to be rude kid, but this guy needs to be thrown in jail. Now I wonder who's going to take Mr. Hernandez's place. It saddens me he killed your mother and he is now a criminal. It will all work out Samir, it always does. Mr. Hernandez will find redemption during his prison sentence. Okay Rex, if you say you'll find redemption, I believe you. Has the jury come to a conclusion to the verdict of our defendant today? Yes your honor. Carl Hernandez. The court today finds you, guilty, for countless acts of murder. You are hereby sentenced to life in prison, without the possibility of parole. Hello there, Carl. Oh my god. It's you, you're that guy who's friends with Rex. Am I hallucinating right now? No my friend, you are not. What you see before your eyes is very much real. Okay, well, uh, how are you talking to me right now, and what do you need from me? I know how you are feeling my friend. You must be feeling regretful for the decisions you have made in your life, especially the decisions that have affected Rex and his entire family, and even yours. I have come to you in this moment in time to present you an opportunity to turn your life around in a very positive direction. Would you like to learn the ways of spirituality, so you can cleanse your soul of all corruption that is contained within you, and turn your life around in a positive direction that will bring nothing but good changes to your life and everyone else around you? Yes, James. I will join you in your spiritual ways. Thank you. Alright Rex, have fun meditating with James. I'll pick you up tonight around 10. Thank you, Father. I appreciate you letting me have the opportunity to grow and learn with spirituality itself. You know Rex, I can't help it, you've grown into a great young man. I am proud of all the things you do every day, and I am happy for you and I know you will do great things in the future. I'll see you later Rex. Thank you father. See you later. Hello there Rex. Hello Arthur. Welcome to our home my friend, come inside. Father, Rex is here. Hello there Rex, welcome. Hello James. How are you doing on this beautiful day? This day has been fascinating, you cannot go wrong with that. As a matter of fact Rex, we have a surprise for you. What kind of surprise is it James? Right this way my friend. Go ahead and take a seat my friend. Now, reach out with your mind my friend. Oh my gosh. Hello there Rex. Mr. Hernandez, long time no see. Same here as well Rex, same here. Wait a minute, how are you possibly communicating to me right now? You would need to be connected spiritually to accomplish that. James has enlightened me about the ways of spirituality and the holy ways to maintain balance to this earth. I figured I should follow his ways for the sake of my soul and for my family, and they will say, this is the first time in years I felt this good. All the corruption within me has disappeared, 
and now I can do what's right in this world. Well that is very good to hear Mr. Hernandez, I hope your path to enlightenment and purification bring you nothing but happiness and spiritual protection for many years to come. Thank you Rex, and same goes for you in your spiritual journey as well. Well my friend, I have to go. Goodbye Rex. Goodbye Mr. Hernandez. Good luck. Thank you for the wonderful surprise James. I see his life is going in the right direction to enlightenment, and I am happy for him for that. Same here, I hope his journey is a safe, healthy, and spiritually enlightening. Well my friend, shall we meditate and connect spiritually with the environment? Yes James, we shall. Well everyone, that was quite a series, wasn't it? To be honest, it was hard to make this series at times, because I want it to be the best series I can possibly make, especially for Rick himself, and also due to work and personal stuff, and you know what, it was worth it, and I regret nothing. What do you guys think of this video and the series? Let me know in the comments section, and don't forget to subscribe for more awesome content. Have a great day everyone.